So it's, let's continue with question five now. We are having a point A with seven comma twelve, and there is a point B whose coordinates are not given, and both of these points are lying on a circle, whose center basically this is the center of circle minus two comma five, and now the line AB, basically these two points are connected together to form a line, is having this equation y equals to minus two x plus twenty six, and now we have to go ahead and find the coordinates for the point B. Hmm, interesting. So what we can do is we can form a circle. See, I always ask you all to draw this kind of stuff in order to get an idea of what to do. Okay? Whenever you are stuck, if you're not having any kind of ideas, draw some kind of visualizations and you will be having a lot of ideas of what to do. And if one of the ideas don't work, quickly shift to the second idea if you're having. Right? So that's something that you should go uh, in the examination. But coming back to this question, let's say this is a cir uh, circle with the center over here as minus 2 comma 5. And a point A seven comma twelve. Let's say somewhere over here is point A. And uh, for example, let's say point B somewhere over here. I can keep it anywhere I want, but let's it's over here. And now if I'm drawing a line that connects this A and B, and this equation is given to us as y is equal to minus two x plus twenty six, and we are asked to find this point of intersection. So now because we know that this equation is intersecting with the curve, I mean, uh, with the circle. We just need to find what is this equation of a circle. And that's it. We can equate the circle with this line to find this particular coordinate. So for that, we'll have to find the equation of circle. See how easily we got an idea by just drawing the diagram. Because we know that this is a point of intersection. What do we want? We want the equation of circle so that we can equate this line with that circle. So now how do you find the equation of circle? It's uh, x minus the minus 2, then square that, plus y minus 5 square that. It's equal to the radius of the circle squared. Now, what is the radius over here? How can we find the radius? So we can know that we first of all know that center and the point on the circle, if we connect them, the distance between them is nothing but the radius of the circle. So finding the radius of circle is nothing but the distance between these two points, that is the center and A. So let's say that I'm finding, first of all, the equation of circle is given by x minus h square plus y minus k square equals to r square, where h and k represents the center of the circle, r is the radius. So I don't really need the value of r, I need the value of r square. So how can I find this r square? Nothing, it's a very simple uh, point, uh, distance between two points. So r square is equal to the difference of x coordinates, that is 7, minus of minus 2, that becomes plus 2. I will square that and add it with the difference of y squared, so that is 12 minus 5. Remember, the order should be same. It, if, if I'm doing 7 minus minus 2, I cannot do 5 minus 12, but it's still fine because we are squaring it at the end of the day. So in this particular case, it does not matter. So anyhow, we are having 12 minus 5 whole square. And the value of this, if you take your KLC and find it, let's see what do we get. So we are having 7 plus 2 square plus 12 minus 5 square. And the answer is coming out to be 130. I can take the under root of this or the square root of this to get the value of R, but that's not really required because we want the value of R square, not R. Okay. And now if I try to form the equation of circle in this case, therefore, I am having something like x minus of minus 2, that is x plus 2 square, plus y minus 5 square equals to 130. And now we are also having this equation of line. To find this intersection point, I just need to substitute this y, whatever is in terms of x over here. Okay, So now this becomes, I'll use a different color. Let me use green. Therefore, now we have x plus 2 square plus instead of y, I am writing minus 2x plus 26. So y becomes minus 2x plus 26. But now there is also a minus 5, right? So plus 26 minus 5 is equal to 21. So I'll just write 21 instead. And then square that and it's equal to 130. Now, obviously, it will be a quadratic equation, which will give us two values of x. One will be the value of 7 because this line is also passing from point A. 
So one will be the value of seven and the other value will be for this B. That's what we have to find. So if I just go ahead and expand these brackets, this will be X squared plus four X plus four. If you don't know how to expand this very quickly, I am just squaring this term. I'm multiplying by this two with this X and this two. So it becomes four X. And then I'm squaring this term. That's how you quickly do it. So now minus two X square, if I do it, it will become four X square. And if I multiply by this minus two, this uh, 21 and two over here together, I get minus 84 X. And then what is the square of 21? If you use your KLC, it will be plus 441. And this is equals to 130. Now let me just convert it into the final quadratic equation with X squared term, X term and a constant. So there are two X squared terms. So four plus one is five. So it becomes five X squared. Then four X minus 84 X. So that becomes minus 80 X. And the constants are 441 plus four, which is obviously 445. There's also minus 130 to it, right? So we need to do minus 130 to this. So it becomes 315 instead. And this is all equal to zero. Now you can use your KLC to get the factors. So if I use my KLC, or you can do it in any way, which is good for you, you can divide both sides with five because we can see that five is a common factor and simplify it and then solve it. It's completely up to you. But I'll be simply going ahead using my KLC to get the factors. So the answers that I'm getting are, first of all, the answers in my KLC are X equal to seven or X equal to nine. This is the kind of values that I'm getting. So the factors will automatically be X minus seven and X minus nine equal to zero. So that's how we get the answers. And we know that this is the coordinate of A. So this must be the value for B. So B is uh, actually, the X value of B is nine, right? So that's the uh, thing that we have got. But now, because we are asked to find out the coordinates of B, you will not get one final mark if you are just saying that X equal to nine is your answer. So now we need to just substitute your X in maybe the equation of circle or maybe the equation of line, whatever suits you the best to get the y value, right? So I'll just say that it's x b and therefore to get my y value, my y b is equals to minus 2 x a, I mean minus 2 x b, that is minus 2 times 9 plus 26. And if I try to solve this in my KLC very quickly, so minus 18 plus 26 and the answer will be 8. So what are the final coordinates of b? 9,8. So yeah, x is 9, y is 8. We have cross-checked everything and we are done with fifth question of this particular paper.